Hello students, welcome to Writer's Workshop. So before the break, we were working on our how-tos. The first step was to make a big list of all the things we thought we were experts at, things we thought we knew how to do that we might want to teach a classmate. So we all made a list of all the different how-tos we might want to write about. Then we picked the one we want to write about first. Remember, I picked make a peanut butter and jam sandwich. Then, before we did any writing, remember how we had to stop and think to plan. We had to think about it and act it out. We act it out. There, my hands are acting, pretending I'm acting, acting out all the steps and really imagining them. Some students have the other kind of paper where they draw their diagram here and then they make their list. And remember, we reminded you to use a comma to divide the items in the list of things you will need. Then we started writing our steps. And here was my first draft, my first time writing the steps. Okay, so I drew a picture of each step, my diagrams, I numbered the steps, and then I wrote what each step was. So today, we're going to go back and review and reread our how-to so far and think about two things. We're going to think about how we can make them more clear, have we added enough details, and we're going to learn especially to add something to our instructions that are called transition words. Transition words for how to. And those are words like first, next, then, finally. Transition words get you from one step to the next. Okay, so we're going to see how we can add transition words like first, next, then finally to our steps. And at the same time, we're probably going to do a little bit of editing, a little bit of editing. Remember, editing is when you're fixing the mistakes, making sure your writing has correct punctuation, capitalization, and some spelling. Because some of you noticed right away when I started writing last week that I had some mistakes. So let me go back and review, reread, because remember, the very first thing you do every day when you go back to your writing is review and reread. So, let's see. How to make a PB&J peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay, I see I'm opening the jars. Step one, open jars. Oh, wait a minute. What transition word could I use? What transition word could I use? Oh, how about first? And also, I didn't start with a capital. I didn't end with a period. So let me go ahead and make that correction. And we're just going to go step by step and see how we can add transition words and how we can edit. So I'm going to put a little caret, capital F, first, open, ooh, the, I forgot a word. First, open the jars, period. First, open the jars. Okay, that sounds good. What's my next step? Spread. It looks like I'm spreading stuff. Spread it on the bread. Hmm. Well, let's see. How about next? Right? I could use next here. Let's do next. I put a little carrot, capital N. Next. Spread it. It. It what? So you have to be clear in your writing. It. It, I have to spread the jam and the peanut butter, right? So I'm going to cross out it. And I'm going to have to fit in a lot here. Spread the jam and peanut butter. Okay, let me reread. Next, spread the jam and peanut butter butter on the bread. Hmm. Well, it's not just any bread. I'm just doing one slice, right? I'm doing one slice of the bread first. So next, spread the jam and peanut butter on, on one slice of bread. I'm going to, because you put all the stuff 
Let me think, I gotta act again. That's another thing. Sometimes when you're writing your how-to, you're gonna have to stop and act it out in the middle. So let's see, I, I have the bread. I put the jam on the and the peanut butter on that bread. I don't just put it all over the place. Okay, hold on, let's see. On one slice of bread, period. Okay, let me reread. Next, spread the jam and peanut butter on one slice of bread. Wait a minute. When I'm really acting this out again, I'm realizing I actually put jam on one slice of bread and peanut butter on the other. So I've really got to fix this. Let's see. Next, spread the jam. I'm going to cross that out. The jam on one slice of bread. Then spread peanut butter on the other. Oh my goodness. Now you might say to yourself, well, that's kind of messy, Mrs. Kilmer, but that's okay because what really matters is getting the steps correct. And it's not really messy. You just have to be careful when you reread. Let's try. Next, spread the jam on one slice of bread, then spread peanut butter on the other. Yes, that makes sense now, right? Okay. And oh, hey, I was able to use two transition words. I used next and then. Okay, let's go on to the next step. Put it together and cut it. Oh, okay, well, what's the problem here? Hmm, I don't have a transition word. Let's see. Um, I could use then or next again. Maybe I'll use next. Next. Put it together and cut it, period. But wait a minute. I put next, put it together and cut it. But cut it how? I really cut it in half, right? So maybe I need to add that. Cut it in half. Now I can have my period. Now that makes sense. Now that's seeming more clear. Okay, let's go on to step four. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should reread it all just to be sure. Hold on. Number one, first open the jars. Step two, next spread the jam on one slice of bread then spread peanut butter on the other. Step three, next, put it together and cut it in half. Okay, last step. So there I am enjoying my yummy sandwich and I wrote, eat it. Okay, so what transition word would work here? Finally, right? So hold on, let me put a little carrot there. Finally, eat it. Oh, maybe I'm gonna give it some oomph, right? Finally, eat it. And then here's the place where you could also put in something funny like yummy. I'm going to add that. I'm going to add an exclamation. Yummy. And I could even put a smiley face in my writing, right? Okay, let me reread. Finally, eat it. Yummy. Okay, you know what? I think I need a little comma here because when I say it, I pause, don't I? Finally, eat it. Yummy. Okay, let's reread all the steps and make sure we did a good job here. How to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. First, open the jars. Next, spread the jam on one slice of bread. Then spread peanut butter on the other. Next, put it together and cut it in half. Finally, eat it. Yummy. So, there you go. Now I want you to keep in mind, today we talked about putting transition words in our writing. Right, remember, transition words get you from one step to the next. So we talked about having transition words, and also while we were putting in our transition words, we were doing a little bit of editing, a little bit of fixing the mistakes, right? We wanted to make sure that our 
punctuation, right? Our, our periods were there and that our capitals were there to start each sentence. So today was all about transition words and a little bit of editing. Okay, off to your writing.